Exador 2000. Okay now, I know we've just finished a little bit ago talking about Gamergate, but there is something new that just happened over the past weekend. We need to talk about Libby Dunn. Oh yeah, you're right. There was a really crazy situation that just came up, so we should focus on that. What is it that we need to talk about? Exador 2000. A company called Sweet Baby include Libby Dunn. Oh yeah, I've heard of that company. What happens with them? Exador 2000. So there is a concern with most gamers that over the last few years a lot of games have forced diversity and inclusion down their throats that was not wanted while they are just trying to have fun in games. Libby Dunn. Oh, wow that's really unfortunate. Is there a specific reason why diversity and inclusion has been forced upon games? Is it because those games were made by people of different ethnicities and cultures? Exodore 2000. That's the crazy part for a lot of those types of games that have been doing this. They have hired the company Sweet Baby Include to go over their scripts and rewrite the dialogue to be more inclusive. The most recent of these games was Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League by Rocksteady Games. Libby Dunn. Oh, wow, that's really interesting. But why is there such a push to make these games more inclusive? Are they being pushed to include diversity and inclusion because of the current social climate and the push to be more inclusive? Exodore 2000. It's more than likely greed on the part of the companies who want more people to buy these games and therefore make more profit. But what really happens is these games push out the people who already love them and they lose sales and some of these companies have gone out of business and their staff losing their jobs. Libby Dunn. Oh yeah, that makes sense. It's probably pretty hurtful to fans of these games to have that happen and then the companies don't even gain the profit they wanted which also causes employees to potentially lose their jobs. That's really sad to hear how companies can be so greedy that they'll try to push their agenda and end up hurting their sales and their employees. Exodore 2000. That is why I believe there is this huge backlash at this company Sweet Baby Include right now. Not only that I was saying about the game Suicide Squad, well one of the voice actors is very beloved Kevin Conroy who made many cartoons of Batman and also voiced Batman in the same company's Batman games as the Suicide Squad game where they kill him. And the actor died in real life in 2022 and this game does not show him the respect the fans would have liked to see. Libby Dunn. Oh yeah, that could be another reason why they're getting backlash since it sounds like they really disrespected such an important person for so many people. <clears throat> did the company ever speak out or address why they didn't show respect for the actor or have they been silent about it? Exodore 2000. I would say they have been pretty silent on it. Okay, also some of the same people from the whole Gamergate thing are also involved in this whole we may be include issue so that's not setting well with people either. Libby Dunn. So I see. I think that's pretty interesting that some of the same people from Gamergate are helping to push back against Sweet Baby Include because it means there's really something here. Why did they get involved in this issue? Exodore 2000. Okay, we talked about Zoe and the creator of Depression. Out of my way! What we never mentioned is she cheated on Alec Falloka during that whole thing. He is the creator of a game called Night in the Woods and utterly beat himself on August 31st, 2019 after Zoe and they accused him of emotional oh. and physical abuse when they had lived together. Oh, wow, that's really sad, and it's a really horrible oh. thing that happened. Did she know how much he was going through, or was she only concerned with the problems in their relationship? Exodore 2000. Not sure, but the person she cheated on him with is known as Maya Felix Kramer, who also goes by Love Boots for Felix at home. And that asked a charity the fine young capitalist on February 28, 2014. Libby Dunn. Oh, wow, that's really crazy. Was their goal with that charity to support women included in gaming? And, and what happened now with necessary. Felix after this whole thing Everyone with Zoe and Alec? From the new Exodore 2000. Security for all. Felix was trying to get Greeks the consumer protection group on Steam taken down called Sweet in Baby in the Include the Detected. Which only made more people aware of this group due to the Streisand effect, and they are now at 203,000 followers. Libby Dunn. Oh, wow, that's super interesting. Do we know why they're trying to get Sweet Baby Include detected taken down? Do they just not agree with their practices and values? Exodore 2000. 
And now the creator of Sweet Baby Include has been heard saying some of your creative working in AAA, which I did for many, many years. So put this stuff up to your high UPS. And if they don't see the value and what you're asking for when you ask for consultants when you ask for research go have a coffee with your marketing team and just terrify them with the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want Libby done oh wow that comes off as kind of threatening it seems like they really want to push their agenda do we know if anyone in the industry has actually implemented anything that sweet baby include has suggested exador 2000 yes several of the AAA games now may have fallen for this tactic most of them came out very bad in the end, and some of those studios have now closed like the Vendy makers of the Saints Road games. Libby done. Oh, wow, that's really sad. Have there been any AAA games that have actually come out really good in the end that have used Sweet Baby Includes tactics? Or do you think this company has just been harming them more than they've been helping? Exodore 2000. One or two, but for the most part, it's been really bad for the industry, and that's why people are mad about it. Libby Dunn. Oh, wow, that's really unfortunate that it's been so negative for the industry. Do you think these games will get better, and that Sweet Baby Include will have a positive impact on these games, or do you think it will keep going the way it has been and cause the destruction of the industry? Exodor 2000. I think there will be a large enough backlash now from consumers that if companies try to still push agendas in games a one fair as well as they once had. Libby done. Bo oh, interesting. So do you think the backlash will be enough to start to create positive change in the gaming industry? Or do you think it will take a while for the gaming industry to start to repair from all of this? Exodore 2000. I hope the games will just come out being better and art driven rather than narrative driven. Libby done. That would be great. I don't think anyone minds if a game has a strong narrative behind it, but if someone's trying to push an agenda on people and the game suffers because of it, that's not fair to the players. Exodore 2000. And they are the ones spending their money for these games and should be able to make the purchases they want. Libby Dunn. Exactly. It's so important for both developers to make quality games that appeal to consumers, but it's even more crucial for consumers to be able to purchase games that have quality and that they enjoy and not feel coerced or forced into spending their money uh, on games that don't deserve to get this money.